Welcome to the Undisputed Podcast. I'm your host, Joy Taylor. We've got a packed show today. Skip, Shannon, let's get to it. Welcome to Undisputed, live from Los Angeles. I'm Ebony K. Williams here this Friday morning with Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. How you guys doing? Good morning, Ebony. How are you today? I'm lovely. I'm Friday. You should look well. Nice look. Cute. Nice look. I'm just going to ignore Ebony hey, Skip. because she knows how I feel, so it's okay. How you feel? Yeah. How are you, Shannon? You're about to be sick. Yeah. Yep, because I'm about to run all yeah. over you. You're going to take a meeting with LeBron tonight in Beverly Hills? Oh, no. Where are you, <laughs> where are you going to go? Tell me. What, what's the schedule? I ain't telling you. Uh, you have paparazzi showing up. Yeah, yeah. They follow me everywhere anyway. Yeah. 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 yeah big deal. Because mm. they think you're coming to meet me. Mm. That is <laughs> That's exactly right. Well, speaking yeah. of that, that's exactly where we're starting, with LBJ, LeBron James. So his agent, Rich Paul, told NBA TV yesterday that LeBron did not come to the, to the Lakers to be a star in Hollywood. Paul said, quote, people say, well, it's about movies, it's about this. It's about LeBron James. He's already a global entity, so it wasn't necessarily about that. But last night, TMZ found out LeBron was dining with Al Pacino and Leonardo DiCaprio in Beverly Hills. Mm. Mm. Variety reporting mm. that LeBron's company is also producing a movie and that the king is in negotiations to play a leading role in the film. Mm. Shannon, your reaction to all this? Talented. Uh, I'm not surprised, Skip Bayless. Mm. This is what we know. Movie stars normally hang out with movie stars and other celebrities mm -hmm. because they know what it's like to live that life. Mm. Now, LeBron James is a basketball player first and foremost. That is what's on his plate. That's the biggest chunk of what's on his plate, being an NBA all-time great, the greatest basketball player of all time. That's where he is currently. Mm. A puck on your lips. I don't even know why you biting your tongue, because you know I'm telling the truth. This is just hilarious. <laughs> Keep going. This is not the first. This will not be the last time that we see LeBron James hanging out with Hollywood elite celebs. Mm. Because, Skip, eventually we know. We've seen him do a movie before. We saw him in Train Wreck, mm -hmm. and he did a very good job. Well, he played LeBron, but go ahead. Uh, okay, that's yeah. a good job. I know. He did. He did a great job playing himself. That he's got bigger fish to fry. Yeah. Yep. He can jump in and out of characters. Oh, I, I have, I have no correct. doubt yep. that LeBron James can act. Yep. Maybe not as well as he played basketball, mm -hmm. but I believe I he can. I don't know. Maybe. But here's the thing, Skip. Right now, he has some off time. He's doing his training because you, mm -hmm. you, we see him posting videos of yep. him getting that work in. Yep. Now, once the, not, once the work is put in, he and he should enjoy himself. He should mm -hmm. get the perks of living out here in L.A. Mm -hmm. The weather, yep. the the beaches, mm -hmm. and Hollywood and entertainers, Hollywood. celebs, yep. movie stars. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's at, you know, why not get the, the heavyweights? Al Pacino, Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm -hmm. Skip, hey, guys, what do I need to do? How do I go about it? Mm -hmm. Tell me, all that, that's what you do. You pick, look, I work at Fox. It's hard-pressed for me to believe that the World Cup's going to be here in 2020. I work at the Fox, I ain't going to go to the World Cup. Mm. That's the whole part about it, being here somewhere, oh. Skip Bayless. You take advantage of the parks. That's why you chose Fox. That's why I chose it. I knew they would get it. Game. I knew I was going to get it. I mm. knew they were going to get that World mm. Cup. I said, I'm going, I'm yep. going. Yep. Skip, <sighs> you and a lot of others try to make a lot of this because I know what you're going to say, Ebony. See, mm. go e Ebony, for the record, have I spoken yet? You not, have not. Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Not yet. This is what he's... <laughs> what he he gonna say? and a lot of other guys, oh... You can show it with Al Pacino. Oh, you can go out with Leonardo DiCaprio, but those 50,000 fans that showed up at Blaze Pizza wanted a piece of pizza and, and wanted to see you, LeBron, you couldn't show up and for you this. you misled them into showing up mm -hmm. at your little pizza mm -hmm. outlet in Culver that. City, oh. down in blue-collar Culver City, but then you show up with Pacino and DiCaprio at Avra on Beverly Drive in Beverly Hills? At, really? After, at, listen, first of all, after going back and reading over what he said and looking at the emoji, mm -hmm. he said Culver City, uh -huh. and with the emoji like, hmm, uh -huh. I might. You don't think that was dropping a bombshell of a hint? You don't think that was the biggest hint LeBron James has ever dropped on Twitter? Skip. Huh? Skip. I'm just saying. Yeah, you're not saying anything that all anybody I'm, wants to hear. I'll up, no, yeah. no, you don't want to, yeah. you don't want to hear. Yeah. I have no problem. LeBron James is in Hollywood. He's in L.A. There are a lot of other, and I'm surprised at what now. Next week, we might see him with Denzel and Samuel L. Jackson. You just might. You got a problem with that? Because that's what he's going to embark upon. Mm. Because what? 
I'm sure when he was younger and he had an opportunity to hang out with, you know, if Magic was around, or well, we already know because Michael was trying to suppress it, so Michael wouldn't want to hang out with mm. him because he knew that was the greatest rival mm. to his threat, to his mm. kingdom. But that's neither here nor there. I have no problem with LeBron James enjoying the benefits of living in L.A., nor should you have the benefits because mm. first and foremost, as Richie Paul said, this was a basketball decision first. The Lakers. You you buying that? Yeah, I'm buying it. Basketball decision. Basketball. <sighs> Only in Hollywood. This is rich. This is richer than LeBron James. This is richer than Richie Paul is rich. Let's get this straight. Okay. So, the agent Rich Paul says last night, I believe it was on NBA TV, mm -hmm. that Coming to the Lakers was strictly a basketball decision, had nothing to do with Hollywood. That's the first sentence that came out of his mouth. But yesterday, number one, we hear that LeBron's production company, he has his own production company called Spring, Spring Hill, Hill Entertainment. Yeah. This is big. He's a mover and a shaker. Yeah. LeBron James is a Hollywood power broker. Mm -hmm. And we hear that that Spring Hill has sold a movie to Paramount, a movie that LeBron James will produce and potentially star in, and it's a body-swapping comedy. I don't know who you'd swap bodies with. I don't know, Whoopi Goldberg. I don't know who it would be. That, that would work for me. Maybe you hire your boy as a double. Maybe. Yeah, Maybe. let me go and get some of, the, some, get some, Maybe. some of that I, money. I don't know. Yeah. So that. we hear that, but also reportedly... LeBron's production company will remake House Party. So that's on the, maybe it's on the front burner. It's mm -hmm. definitely in the works. And Forbes.com says LeBron to L.A. has virtually ensured that LeBron will star in Space Jam 2. Mm -hmm. Okay? So yeah. that's one, two, three Hollywood projects. Okay. All of them on the front, not on the back burner. I think they're on the front burner. <laughs> and now number two, we hear last night, or see last night, thanks to TMZ, and the paparazzi, that LeBron is having dinner at Avra, Beverly Drive, Beverly Hills. I was right over there. I know. It's, it's right. It's not that far from you. I know. I know. You should have known. You should have been there. should have been there. But he's not only having dinner with <laughs> Al Pacino and Leo DiCaprio, but LeBron's business manager, the great Maverick Carter, who is a mover and a shaker in and of himself. He is a fast-rising Hollywood star mm -hmm. of a deal-maker, he sits in on this. So I don't think this was about two wide-eyed LeBron superfans wanting to rub elbows with no. LeBron. I think there were deals being discussed over dinner. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, probably. Okay, so that could be a fourth project of Spring Hill Entertainment. And that leads me to believe that what I've been saying all along, all this week, is exactly right. Because I told you, now he's not just chasing Jordan. He's chasing Michael B. Jordan. There's, there's no more just Michael Jordan. Yeah, and Creed yeah. knocking folks yeah. out. Okay. Killmonger, killing okay. careers. All right. All right, well, I'll give you that. And d would, would I bet against LeBron becoming a superstar actor? I would not because he has designs on this. He's obviously very talented. He could pull this off if he commits to it the way he has committed to basketball. So now I ask you, Shannon Sharp, is basketball becoming like his second job? I no, don't know. That's what no, it's feeling like no, to me. I no, just no, gave you four potential projects. Okay. Four. Potential. Wow. That doesn't mean he's hey, doing them no, right I, now. Well, one's, one's in the world. I, I think three are, are right on the front. Well, I think if, if all things being equal, I think Space Jams would probably mm. be the one that would be closer to being put out. I don't out. know. They say house parties coming. What? And then they just announced this deal yesterday with Paramount on the body swapping comedy. So that's happening. And he might star in it. And we all know if you're going to star in a film, it requires a lot of commitment, yeah, a lot of time, months. a lot of effort, a lot of focus. Yes. Am I right about yes. that? Yes. So did LeBron say, well, I'll go to L.A. with basketball as my secondary pursuit? Because it's starting to well, feel let me, like well, that. Let me ask you a question. How focused was Michael Jordan when he shot Space Jams? I don't know. He'd, he'd accomplished a lot more than LeBron. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. Not at that point. Mm -hmm. He had absolutely not. I think he had. I don't remember what year it was. You know what year it was. It's probably, Space Jam is what, 25 years old? Yes. Yeah, so at least. Mm -hmm. So are you saying 
in year eight, Michael Jordan had accomplished more than LeBron James in year 15? Are you sure you want to stand by that? Did Michael become a Hollywood force after that? He did not. Okay. Did he pursue a second career as an actor? He did not. That's not his Is forte. Is LeBron pursuing a second career, if not a first new career as an actor? Yes, he is. I just detailed all, why all, he is. All I'm saying I'm is... I'm fine with that, but you, you're going to have to accept that and swallow that. Well, let me ask you a question. I mean, when Kevin Durant signed with Golden State, we knew that he was a tech guy. Mm -hmm. So he moved, he signed with Golden State, so he got to be hobnob with CEOs of these tech companies, mm -hmm. VPs, presidents of these companies. So, mm -hmm. what, what, so is he more of a tech guy than a basketball player? Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Who was the MVP of the last two NBA finals? Help me out. Kevin Durant. Oh, Who's so I guess it team? didn't hurt his focus. It wasn't a distraction for Kevin Durant, right? This so, but is it, but huge. It, but it's going to be a distraction I mean, for LeBron James? Dabbling in the tech industry is very different than becoming a movie well, star. So when he shot Trainwreck, what, what, did that, what did that do? Did that hurt him? No, it launched him. Oh, okay. Right? So it did. He got rave reviews, and I think it encouraged him to say, wait a second, I can do this. And it, that's my point, Skip Bayless. Guys can focus. I do not think this is going to interfere or inhibit LeBron James' ability to still be great on the basketball court. Mm. I don't think he's going to be shooting movies during the season. In his offseason, before that, there, there's a time frame in which, you can, which he can do this. And right now, if that, it falls within that time frame. Now, he'll start ramping up the workouts. They'll start coming with a little bit more veracity, a little bit more intensity. Mm. And then the... the you uh, the, you know, and I know what's coming down the pike. Pacino and De Niro, I mean, De Niro, DiCaprio are going to say, hey... We're only available X. Could you maybe squeeze in a little Y over here at the end of the year? Maybe maybe the last couple of weeks of the regular season, maybe you guys won't be having to play that hard. Maybe your, no, no, your seed will be that, set. That's not how LeBron James thinks. Okay. You know that, I, Skip I Bayless. Don't know. Stop I trying don't to know. minimize. Would Tom Brady I do that? Know. Heck no. Okay, then. Well, don't okay then. Tom Brady's not trying to become a movie star. Oh, no, he's, tr no, he's just trying to become an entrepreneur, TV oh. 12 method. What is oh. that about? Releasing docu-series. He's trying to show you how and why he is now defeating Father Time with his longevity in pro football. You know and I know. He's just trying to show you why. Kind of like LeBron. Because he's like... He, he, he's LeBron like is showing you why. Zealot now. LeBron is showing you why. Yeah. That in year 15... That look at the guys that are in year 15. Is Dwayne Wade the same player as LeBron James? They came out the same draft. What about Melo? What about David West? Mm. What about Kyle Korver? So are you saying LeBron's going to show us a big drop-off? We're going to see diminished LeBron next year? Has, has Tom Brady showed diminished drop-off? Heck no. Okay, well, heck no. He's not a movie no. star. Heck, LeBron is not a movie star. Oh, LeBron is becoming... I just showed you he's becoming is one. the biggest name you, in... You should be horrified over I'm this. I'm not horrified. Oh. Because LeBron James can compartmentalize. You don't get to where you got from. <laughs> from Akron, Ohio, okay. out of the concrete jungle. Okay. And come to Hollywood. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's not an accident, Skip Bayless. That's Hollywood not a mistake. Hollywood doesn't soften him up either. I, I wouldn't want to <laughs> see you, that. Did you, saw, you saw the man. You saw him working out, Skip. Does he look soft to you? Hard as nail. Look skinny. Tougher than wet leather. What happened? Stop it. The man oh. ain't skinny. Mm -hmm. Everything looks skinny to you. Huh? I don't know. Well, it, you can stop taking the vibranium once the season ends, right? No. That's what you told me. LeBron James, that nutritionist goes wherever he goes. Okay. That physio guy goes wherever he goes. He trains. It doesn't matter. He's so, in the mall so because he's still training skills. So the other shock to me what? was that LeBron James, PR genius, I give him PR genius surrounded by people that he grew up with who are also really skilled at PR. Mm -hmm. That was a PR nightmare, what happened with those 50,000 people standing out right. in the heat in Culver City. I'm that, sure that's he didn't so not LeBron. I'm sure he did not anticipate one location getting okay. 50,000. He did not, but he started it, and they f didn't finish it because they didn't get their pizza. Skip, under the... Who said they didn't get the pizza? Well, I, I'll bet you 40,000 of them didn't get any pizza because that... That one location couldn't have produced more than 10,000 worth of free pizza pies, right? Here's the thing, Skip. The original premise, what LeBron James says, said, what the mm. statement said, is that he's going to be giving away, giving away free pizza mm -hmm. at 40 area Los Angeles Blaze location. Mm -hmm. It didn't say anything about definitive. Now, the only thing was definitive was he was going to be giving away free pizza pie. Mm -hmm. Everything else is speculation, conjecture, or innuendo, or implication. Mm. That's not verifiable. Verifiable is I'm giving away free pizza at 40 area locations. Okay, Skip, yeah, it was bad. He should okay. not have implied so, it. So, my question is, 
Why hasn't LeBron James done a welcome to L.A. press conference with the Lakers, with Magic to his right and Palinka and Jeannie Bus and what? whoever else For what? For what? You can have a, hang a jer uh, to have the 23 jerseys? Yes. Yeah, everybody knows what. You, you don't think that would do the Lakers a lot of good? You don't think they deserve that? The Lakers don't need nothing. The Lakers are the Lakers. Okay. The purple and gold shine fine without... You don't without think if LeBron <clears throat> could turn on his P considerable PR charm that he couldn't do something in that press conference to ingratiate himself oh, with maybe, those Kobe lovers well, out may, there? Maybe they might leave his mural up next time if he do that. Maybe. So is that why they have it? Have we heard a peep from LeBron about coming to L.A.? No, he's too busy taking meetings. Hold on, Skip. I'm serious. So you don't too, what, you don't what think... What is this? You don't think he's excited about being in L.A.? Oh, he was, I, I think he, he, was is. So, he was so excited about joining the Lakers, he brought two homes uh, two years in advance. Mm. Huh? Yeah, okay. But, but he's disappointed about being here. All right, so why wouldn't he do a big press? Remember what he did in 2010? He does the decision, the televised decision. Two days later, he's in front of a screaming throng at American Airlines Arena with Dwayne Wade, with Chris Bosh, and he's saying not five, not six, did not he, seven. When he went back remember to Cleveland, that? did he do a brief press when he went back to I Cleveland? I don't remember. I don't remember. No. Huh? No. He didn't he do any? It gets, sure old. He gets, it gets old. Huh. I'm LeBron. Oh, I'm so back. He's Enjoy. above this now? Hey, I'm LeBron. Huh? I'm back. Y'all know me. Y'all know what I do. Okay. You know, I think there's some part of LeBron that feels a little bit of shame and a little bit of guilt about leaving Cleveland behind, and maybe he didn't want to rub their nose in it by doing a big, you know, I'm basking in purple and gold here in Hollywood. You oh, know, I think that could have come across wrong time, in his eyes. Maybe last time Cleveland. Dan Gilbert said he's going to bring them some mm -hmm. titles. Yep. So Dan Gilbert should be happy. He should be ecstatic. Mm. He has his team back. He gets to build the team the way he sees fit. And he gets to get all the credit, be it mm. good, bad, or indifferent. Because guess what? You cannot, LeBron James can't get any credit or he can't take any blame. Mm. So Dan Gilbert should be happy. Mm. You should be happy. Me? Yeah. For what? You should be happy that he's here in L.A. I am happy. I love it. He's my neighbor now. Brighter days are here yeah. to stay. Okay. Yeah. L.A. is now the, the center Lakers. of the sports universe. Exactly. Yeah. Thanks to Hollywood LeBron. When was the last time the Lakers generated this kind of buzz? Well, they have before, trust me. When the last time? Yeah. Considering they haven't been to the playoffs in five years. Okay. Prior to this last stretch, the stretch mm. they're going through right now, yep. in the history of the Lakers, they had only missed the playoffs five times. Mm. So now they got ten. Five in a row. When Kobe won that championship without Shaq, I, I think that considered that, that that would be considered nuclear buzz. I, that I was in my forties. Yeah. I was in my forties. Okay, I'm about to get an AR, ARP card you are. now. You, yeah. You just got so that. how long ago that? So how long ago that's being skipped? So you got to answer to me. Okay. Why haven't they done a welcome to LA press conference? They don't why? need to do that. They don't need to. No. You, everybody does it. Not LeBron James. Oh, so not with you that big. Okay. Not with you that so big. I even wondered. I, I last night I was just like racking my brain. Did Commissioner Silver say you guys got to hold off until summer league is over so you don't upstage our summer league? I don't know. Skip, that's Maybe? gonna be a, that's gonna be a one time event. He's already once once he decided where he was going because that was the biggest domino. That was the biggest one to fall. Mm -hmm. So once he went into place, everything else is okay. Mm -hmm. Bye. Okay, he's going there. Oh, uh. Hmm. No, hmm. that big guy, Skip, that's the needle mover. Mm -hmm. That's the pusher. I mean, he's not Kobe, but he's a needle mover. Kobe didn't go anywhere. Mm. Scott, you, first of all, you better stop it. Mm. This is beyond you me. You better tell Laker Nation to stop it. Do you? Hold on. I was going to make sure I'm hearing you. Do you? So are you saying Kobe is, is, is bigger, bigger than Brock? Yeah. In L.A.? Right here, right no, now? No, he no, is no. bigger. Hold on. Yes. Last I checked, the world revolves outside of L.A. Mm. So there are other 40, there are 49 states other than California. Mm -hmm. And then there's this thing called the, the, uh, uh, the global state. Mm -hmm. So are you saying, what are you saying, Skip? I want to get you on the record. Are you mm -hmm. saying that Kobe's Said a bigger? Said in Laker Nation, Kobe is bigger. It runs the love runs Okay, what about the land? What about the land? Laker so is Kobe Nation. bigger than LeBron in the land? Of course not. Exactly. That's my point. You realize you're no longer in the land. You're in Kobe's land. You got it? Skip, that happens. Huh? Now you're up against it. You got a new ghost to fight. This it's woman. not MJ's. It's Kobe's. LeBron and realized. by the way, didn't Kobe win an Oscar already? Yeah. So you're already one down to Kobe in the Oscar <laughs> category. This is how, this is how we do What are you going to do about Skip, that? Skip, We're, LeBron realized he's a step parent. Mm. He comes in, mm. he brides a few mm. gifts, mm -hmm. takes the kid after a while, the kid's like, hey, be mm. calling him dead. Pretty soon they're gonna be like, hey, mm. the king is here. 
Mm. The king is here. Mm. Yeah. You know, Once what? we get that title, the king is here, it'll be everything will be all forgotten. He needs to change his motto, strive for greatness, to strive for Oscars, because that's what he strives for. He to strive for no uh, yes, Skip, that's great. Strive for Oscars. Skip. That's huh? a great. Huh? Kobe, I commend Kobe. I mm -hmm. saw him uh, before he actually won, and mm -hmm. that's where his mind is now. All he, at, he at least Kobe won his Oscar after he completed his basketball career. LeBron's going to try to win one while doing both jobs at once, and that can get no, a little No, crazy. he didn't. Uh, He's not, see there you, see Skip, you see how you do it. Uh, it goes from, it goes from now all of a sudden he want to do movies, now he's trying to win an Oscar while he's playing. You see how you just rap, you just add yeast to everything. Well, look you at got these to make projects. it good. A body swapping comedy, house party, I tell Space you what, Jam 2. When, 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 this could when, be Oscar when, material. When, when, these, when these movie houses, when they start giving you release dates, mm -hmm. when they start telling you they're going to, mm -hmm. they're going to start filming, mm -hmm. come talk to me. Mm -hmm. But until then, all that is all these projects, mm -hmm. I ain't trying to hear all that. Mm -hmm. I think Pacino and Leo are going to give us a release date pretty soon here. No, they're not. I think it's right on that front burner. <sighs> you see how you huh? do that, Skip? Skip, why do you do this? I <laughs> I just can't help myself. I know you, you can't. You are so vulnerable. Vulnerable and this to is what? So true. Skip. It's coming right at you a thousand miles an hour in your very own neighborhood. LeBron is turning into Hollywood LeBron the, right before your very eyes. What are you going to do? The man came to LA to play basketball. Hmm. A part of playing. What his agent said. A, play, a part of playing basketball hmm. in LA are all the other things that oh. come along with it. Like, yeah, you're in the heart of hmm. movie. Hmm. This is Hollywood. Hmm. So you're very close. If that's also one of your goals for later down the line, mm -hmm. why wait until your career is actually over before you start taking advantage okay. of some of the things right now? Try that. Make basketball a sidelight at the end of your career. No. Yeah. I mean, this is becoming more important. Basketball is at the forefront oh. of LeBron James. Oh. First and foremost, he'll never lose sight of that. Hmm. He's a basketball player first. Well, he said the other day, somebody said he's got nothing left to prove. Didn't he say that? <laughs> You in know. basketball. So he's proven all he can. He's three and six in the finals. Give it up. He, no, he gonna I'm a prove, movie star. He's going to prove to you that mm. he's still the best player in basketball. Mm. He's going to prove to everybody he's going to win the MVP. Mm. He's going to prove to everybody that they're going to win between 15 and 20 more games than what they won last year. Mm. That's factual. Mm. It oh, is it factual? Factual. Mm. I think it's pure opinion for no, you. And no. we're going to debate both of those issues coming Later up. Yeah, you, you know, Vegas started with one building. Mm. They built up all them buildings out there. Mm -hmm. They weren't building those buildings with winner's money. Mm. Yeah, that's mm. how Vegas was built. Mm. Loser's money. Well, you're about to bet on the wrong man. No, huh? I'm betting on the right man. You yeah. betting on the wrong man. You, I, I'm betting on the leading man, LeBron James. No, well, you can't Hollywood go wrong. LeBron. You can't go wrong. Ah. Huh? Mm. Oscar. And the Oscar goes to... The Oscar for the best actor in the lead role goes to LeBron James. I, I, we're going to hear it sooner than later. We I might. Know. I'll applaud that. I will. Yeah. All yeah. right, fellas. I'm going to be there, too. We're going to talk about that MVP thing a little bit later in the show, too. <laughs> Absolutely. But also, there's a major feud going on right now between mm. T.O. and the NFL Hall of Fame. Who's looking worse than it right now? We'll discuss it next on Undisputed. No mercy. The Hall of Fame announced yesterday that they will not mention Terrell Owens with the other Hall of Fame inductees during next month's ceremony. Now, T.O. already said that he'll have his own ceremony at his alma mater, the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga, on August 4th instead of going to Canton. Now, the executive director of the Hall of Fame said, quote, there's no reason to bring him up as an individual. He's not here. Shannon Sharp, should the Hall of Fame include T.O. in the ceremony? They are. Skip, I don't like the headlines. Hmm. Hall of Fame, NFL Hall of Fame, Pro Football Hall of Fame will not honor Terrell Owens. Terrell Owens. Mm -hmm. Yes, they will. His bust will be encased in Canton. Okay. You get two honors if you're selected to a Hall of Fame. Your bust, gold bust, gets to be housed in the Hall of Fame, okay. and you get an opportunity to speak, to give your Hall of Fame mm -hmm. speech. Those are the two honors that you receive. Be inducted. Yes. yes. Okay. Skip. He's choosing not to be there. We, in every sport, what do coaches say? We talk about the guys that are here, not about the guys that aren't. So let me ask you a question. When T.O. is giving his speech at UT Chattanooga, he mentioned Randy Moss? Is he going to mention Erlacher? Is he going to mention Ray Lewis? Are he gonna, is he going to mention any of the other guys that should be going in with him? Absolutely not. So I don't really know what, the hall, uh, what they want the Hall of Fame to do, Skip. 
if T.O. was no longer with us, we get it. He's incapacitated. Mm -hmm. He can't travel too. We get it. But we've never seen this before. But they're not going to introduce him, like get, show a montage Skip. of T.O. highlights. Yeah, because normally when they... And, when, and let the audience in Canton applaud him. You know, like they're not... Get, he's, he's out of the program. Normally, right? what happens if the player is, if the, uh, uh, player is deceased, mm -hmm. they, they have the presenter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My year, uh, Les Richter's son. I remember. They don't get to speak, yep. but they come up there, they get to the swatch, they don't get a gold jacket because they don't want family members fighting over the gold jacket. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm the oldest son, I'm the oldest daughter who gets it, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. They don't do that. Okay. Skip, there is no presenter. There is no one there to receive the induction. So mention him for how. Skip, he didn't want to be a part of it. So now we want to include a player in something he wanted no parts of. Mm -hmm. So if, if it's his right to not come and the eight. He and I, we, we've talked about it. Mm -hmm. I disagree, and I told him I'm disappointed in it, but he said, Shannon, I'm comfortable with it. I trust trust me. I won't regret it. I said, okay, T.O., I hope you're right. Can't the Hall of Fame say, well, since you do not want to be here, we're just going to honor and highlight the guys that are here? I don't really see the problem with that. You want T.O. to be able to have his rights, but the Hall should say, oh, well, we're going to do that. We're going to honor you anyway. Skip, he's mad at the wrong people. He's mad at the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. It's the 50 men and women. Yeah. It's like a beauty contest. Miss <laughs> America, Skip, she gets first runner up. She's mad at the, uh, uh, the beauty pageant, not the judges. Mm -hmm. You got to get mad at them. The hall, all they do is just put on the show. All the Pro Football Hall of Fame, all they do is they, they put this event on and they house because this is where all the greats go. Think about this, Skip. I went in in 2011. If I'm not mistaken, I think I'm 267 to 268. So that would be seven years since. If you max it out, that's 49. So there's somewhere around between 310 it's and 310. 310 yeah, 320. Yeah. Yeah. Of 20, mm -hmm. almost 25,000 men I have played this game. You're not telling T.O. Me. is one of the 310, 320 yeah. that's going in there. And because he didn't go in on the first or the second ballot, he's upset. Skip, there have been a lot of greats. Thank you for bringing that up there's a greater percentage of multiple ballot Hall of Famers than first ballot. Correct. Right? How many first ballot? I didn't look this up, but, but it would be much fewer than the Shannon Sharps and the Chris Carters. Yes. Well, multiple ballot. You yes. were three. Chris was Chris, six. I think six. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Terrell was three, right? Yes. Lots of threes. You in. Lots of fours. Yes. Fives. Yes. Okay. So it wasn't like he was singled out. No. Right? Right. And I get it, Skip, I was, I, I was equally as frustrated as Teal because I thought I had sure. done enough during my career mm -hmm. to go in. I had no blips. Wow. But for whatever reason, they said, well, Shannon, you need to wait. And not only wait one year, you need to wait another year, and then on your third year. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm happy. I got in. Whether you wanted, well, because I didn't get in on the first ballot, this guy, okay, fine, okay, have, have, do what you want to do with that. But, Skip, I don't get what they want the Hall of Fame to do. Because T.O. chose to go this route. He didn't have to do this. He could have gotten honored. He could have, you know, his family and friends could have come to Canton. If you wanted to shit, that's what you do, Skip. That's what I did. Mr. Bowling, I was very sure. fortunate. I had an owner that said. Well, everybody does. Yes. So you bring your family and friends. You acknowledge the people that help you. Skip, they know why he's on the stage. Mm -hmm. 153, 153 mm -hmm. touchdowns, 15,000 yards. They know why. But can you tell us how? My grandma, my mom, my sister, yeah, my brother, the coach. No. It's part and parcel of why this is the greatest of all the halls of fame. This is the greatest because of what you just said. It's hard to get in, and it's the greatest honor to me in sports. It's even greater than the baseball or the basketball or the hockey. It's just it's pure greatness. It's the greatest team you could ever be a part of, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I've told you before, I hate the multiple ballot process. To me, you're either in or you're out. Shannon Sharp's either a Hall of Famer or he's not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this process at least gives the committee the opportunity to reconsider by the year. Right. Maybe somebody delivers a more persuasive argument the next right. year. Whatever. Right. But it gives you a chance on a next, next, next ballot to get in. Right. But when it comes to Terrell, I've had my battles with him. I know. I still like him. I enjoy having him on the show. Mm -hmm. But... I'm sorry, I told you so. Th this is Terrell Owens. This is part and parcel of him. He was a great player, obviously, inarguably a great player. Mm -hmm. 
who slowly but surely became the most divisive teammate to me in the history of sports. At least of the teams I covered, there wasn't anybody close to Terrell Owens. Mm -hmm. And I nicknamed him Team Obliterator for that very reason. And the nickname stuck because it fit. He was a part of three very good teams, three Super Bowl contenders, 49ers, Eagles, Cowboys, who finally deemed him more trouble than he was worth. He was great in stretches for all three. He did great things and lifted them to a certain level. Mm -hmm. And then they all three finally said, we just can't take it anymore. It's just not worth it. Mm -hmm. And they moved on. And now he has a, a chance to be part of the greatest team he'll ever be on in his life. And he's the first of 310 who said no to the induction ceremony. And the Hall of Fame finally said, okay, if that's the way he wants to play it, then we're going to exclude him from our program. Right. It's not the end of the world, but it's, it's terrible to a T because I told you, he's not happy unless he's unhappy. He needs to have an ax to grind. He needs to be taking a stand against the people who did him wrong. This is how he likes to live his life. And I get it, but after a while, you got to give up the fight. Right. You know, just, just give in to it and, and embrace the fact you did get selected. You did. Th you're, oh, in, you're one of 310? Yes. Again, including this class this coming in. But it's so rare. It, it's such a high honor that you need to embrace it. And I know he wanted to hang on to his sympathy card, and to me he's a little bit of a Twitter prisoner because he likes to react to the people on Twitter who say, go, 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 Terrell, keep fighting, keep digging in against those people who did you wrong. Those Hall of Fame voters, show them up. Reveal, expose their hypocrisy. And, and there's... Nobody knows who they are? I know, nobody cares. <laughs> nobody nobody knows. They, it's just not... It's, it's a fight that you need to give up. Right. Because... He's happy now, I think, because he's going to get a lot of attention, which he loves, and he's going to be able to do his own Hall of Fame induction okay. at the school that launched him. Mm -hmm. And I get that. I'm, I'm good with all that part. But there's going to come a day, I don't know when it'll be, 10, 15, 20 years from now, 30 years from now, when he's going to wake up one morning and say, I should have embraced this. Mm -hmm. Because he's missing out on something. It, it's about as special a day as you've it ever is. had, it right? It is. It is. Would you and say it's, I, I don't know, maybe it's not more it's, special than child birthdays or whatever. Skip, I, it, uh, was, it, was the, it was the greatest day because all the people that were behind the scenes, yeah. that nobody knew. I got an opportunity to thank them. Uh, and a lot of them, I had never, ever told what they meant to yeah. me until that day. Because you just don't do that you in don't, life. In right, real life, you just right. don't stop down and say, let me tell you how much you mean to me. And not only, Skip, because not only is this the first time the uh, Pro Football Hall of Fame came into exist existence in 1963. Yep. The Baseball Hall of Fame came into existence in 1936. Basketball in 1959. This is the first time that a living player has says, no, I will not attend. Now, Terrell Owens is not the first one to have a gripe because he didn't get in on the first or second or third or fourth, fifth time. Mm. I'm sure there have been baseball players. Oh. And well, if, if you look at some of the stats, you're like, hold on. How did this guy not get in on the mm. first ballot, Skip? Mm. And how did this guy – How did? but you're there now. Yep. You, you get – sometimes people get so caught up in, well, I didn't arrive at this destination as soon as I thought. Mm -hmm. But did you realize how far you came? T.O., did you realize, do you realize where you came from? You're not even supposed to be on that stage. As I told him in my speech, I'm not supposed to be here. Right. A Hall of Pro, I wasn't supposed to be in the Pro Football, let alone the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. Now thank the people, just like you're thanking them at UT Chattanooga. You couldn't do that on stage at Canton? That's your choice. But I don't understand how he, this doesn't make you a martyr, T.O. It, it doesn't. You, this, this is not a fight that you should, First of all, this is not a fight you should want to fight. Mm. You should say, you know what, guys? You're right. I'm going to go on and do it. But he wants, he wants to do it his way. I just don't really know what the hall was supposed to do with no presenter and no inductee being there. So we're going to run a montage. Because now if you run the montage, skip, it's almost like he's dead. Well, he's not also, deceased. Yeah, but you, you know better than I. Some proud people run that Hall of Fame. Yes. And at yes. some point, they finally said, okay, if you I, don't want us, we don't want you. I can't say 100%, but I'm 99% certain.
that David Baker went to a lot of these members in the Hall of Fame. Because mm -hmm. there are not very many of us that are alive. Mm -hmm. There are 310 and maybe 170 of them are deceased. Okay. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, I'm sure he asked a lot of these proud men. Yeah, he did. How should we handle this situation? Yep. Because of those 140, Skip, do you know how many of them behind the scenes? Because I was on the buses twice when he didn't get in. And the men were like, this is a bull jive. Okay. Mm -hmm. They may be singing a little different tune now. They, they, they just disappointed yep. that, that he, would, he would let him, himself not getting in on the first or second ballot, mm -hmm. that he would let it rise to this level of, of frustration and hatred, that he would just forego it, says, no, nah, I'm not coming. And then, Skip, you're going to have your induction on the very same day that the actual Pro Football Hall of Fame is having theirs. Mm -hmm. I just, that's, that's him. Okay. That's, that's the way he wanted it. It's his day. It's his moment. But, okay, you're having your day. You're having your moment at UT. Okay. Life will go on. Hall of Fame says we're going to have our moment with the six guys that are here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just sad. It's just so disappointing. No mercy. LeBron, now he's a Laker now. So, of course, it shouldn't be that surprising that odd makers now think the Lakers will win more games next season. Sportsbook has set the Lakers over under at 50 and a half wins. Now, they only won 35 games last season, and they haven't won 50 games in eight years. Shannon, the over under at 50 and a half wins for the Lakers season. Over. Like that? Oh. Mm. Over. You better hope. Over. You got do on it. Yeah, I sure do. Yeah. I'm going to win. Yeah. I'm going to win it. Okay. Because we know what LeBron does. Mm. He went back to Cleveland. They had won 33 games before he got there. Mm. Well, how many did they win after you got there, Skip? 53. Mm. 20 games. I told you. Mm. Anytime he leaves, he's worth at least 15 to 20 games. Mm. 15 right. to 20. All right. Three mm. years after he got to Miami, they went from 47 to 66. Mm. Even the first year that he got there, they won 58 games after winning 48, but they got kicked out in the first round. Mm. LeBron James said, that's never going to happen on my watch. Those again. years all took place in the what conference? Didn't matter. The Eastern Conference. So Thank you, you very much. The Eastern. Even, even, mm -hmm. even this as it be it, as it may, Skip Bayless. Mm -hmm. Ozmaker says even in the Western Conference, mm -hmm. LeBron James is responsible for 15 wins. Okay. That's what they say. Yeah. So now, who am I going to agree with? Mm -hmm. Am I going to believe you with an axe to grind I with your no hate with your grind. president of the hating LeBron Club? Yeah, the truth telling LeBron. You no, know, no, you're not. No, you're not. Mm -hmm. He's going to win it. He's mm -hmm. going over. Like I said, he's going to be somewhere between that 52, 55 wins. Mm -hmm. Whether so, you want to own it or not, you said 54 on the record. 54 wins. I don't know. I, I got to do a tell he to pull that. second, third, and fourth no, thoughts about that. I've, Skip, I, I the one that set the total at 50, told you they're going to win at least 50 games. I've been there from oh, day one. So you're better than Vegas. You were ahead yeah, of their exactly. curve. Because I, I know what he's capable of. Okay. No matter the conference. So, the Lakers went 35 mm -hmm. and 47 last year. Mm -hmm. I'll give them flipping that record to 47 and 35 because that was the eighth seed last year, a team that you love, the Minnesota Timberwolves. Yes. You were bullish on them all yes. year long, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. in the West, the team that you loved, the team you considered kind of a playoff dark horse, won 47 total games with all that talent they have up there. And, and remember, they're, they're back this year. They didn't disband. They're back. Which one? As is. Minnesota. They're, they're going to be in this mix. They, they, they don't have Bron. Oh, they don't have Bron. Okay. They got Jimmy Butler, though. Do you remember what Bron did to Jimmy Butler? Yeah, one time I do. That's I remember a lot of other times Jimmy did a lot of things to LeBron. What about that walk-off oh, in the playoff? It. I saw it. Okay. It was good. So, will I give them 12 games better? I'd give them 12 games to get to 47. 15! 47. A little short of 50. Uh, unless, of course, there's one big caveat, one big purple and gold asterisk under this. If, if they pull off some major deal for a second star, then we can have a different conversation here. But we're talking about as is, I got 47 they wins. They get Kawhi and he healthy. It's 60. Okay, all right. Well, we'll have that conversation when it happens. But right now, even though they added, obviously, the King and Rondo and Lance and JaVale, they've also lost Julius Randle and Jordan Clarkson and Larry Nance Jr. and Brooke Lopez. That's a lot to lose. It's going to be a very different feel and a different team this year. And I don't really still get through my thick skull how it's going to work with LeBron, whose natural position, his most comfortable position is playing the point when you have two other point guards who will be vying for either the backup or the starting role, Rondo and Lonzo. LeBron could go get buckets now. 
Okay. Well, does he want to play the two all the time? Because he's just, you know and I know, he likes to have the ball in his hands. Yeah, playing the two. And I get, like him to have the ball in his hands. Playing the two going to average 30 points a night. Yeah. Okay. Well, he might. But is that going to be winning basketball? Yeah. Okay. That's all he ever plays is winning basketball. Okay. So, all of a sudden, you've got Luke Walton, still a pretty young basketball coach. Mm -hmm. He is. Trying to juggle the egos of LeBron James and Rondo and Lance and JaVale and LeVar. And LeVar, I throw him into this volatile <laughs> mix. And the movie that LeBron starred in or played himself in, Trainwreck, could that become the title of next year's well, Lakers, all, at least Bayless, for a while? Uh, Trainwreck? The only, could it be a train the wreck? only person mm -hmm. that should have an ego yeah. is LeBron James. Because mm. no one else is really okay, accomplished I'll buy that, anything. But you don't think Rondo's got except a Ron, difficult Except Rondo. Ego? Rondo. Yeah, well, Rondo, Rondo is, is headstrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't think Lance is just difficult just because he's Lance? He's going to be on his best behavior. Okay. Well, he might for a while. The King then... called him personally. I know. I got that. That's but enough. That, this is 82 games long. This is six months. You know and I know what can happen over six months. And will JaVale drive LeBron a little crazy on some nights because he can do some knuckleheaded kind of things occasionally? But the thing is what I've noticed about JaVale McGee is that he always plays hard. He does. And, no, and I Le give you LeBron, that. LeBron can mm -hmm. live with that. Yeah, he's going yeah, he to be right up under the basket and try to dunk it. And he's going to hit the bottom of the rim and the ball's going to go out of bounds. Mm -hmm. He will do some things. You're like, dude, you're an NBA player and you made that mistake? Mm -hmm. But the one thing you will never question about him is his, especially over the last couple of years, is how hard he plays. Mm. He tries to block every shot. He tries to save every loose ball. Okay. He said hard picks for you. Mm -hmm. LeBron can live with that. Lance Stevens, Skip, I can deal without the antics. But LeBron, in his, in his years of dealing with Lance, mm -hmm. says he does, he does play hard. He is willing to compete. And okay. that's what LeBron, Rob Palenka says, hey, he and Irv were sitting down, mm -hmm. and LeBron agree with, agree with this. The way we could take down the Warriors, mm -hmm. not saying this year, is that we got to be able to switch and we got to be able to play tough minded defense. Okay. And Rob Polinka said that publicly. And all those quotes went right into the ears of a bunch of Golden State Warriors. And there are five All Stars now up in Golden State. And I'm going to remind you, you have to play them not twice next year four. as you did in Cleveland. It's four times. And they are going to be on a new mission Might be three to and put one you back in your place because you're being built to dethrone them. You don't think there's going to be a little extra motivation? We're going to be 500 against them regardless. Uh -huh. 500. Really? Yeah, 500. You want to do all that? Yes. Another case. 500. I'll be up to two and two. 11 now. That's, that's, that's at 12. That was an easy yeah. 12. You just gave me an easy that's 12. At, that's at worst case. Yeah. Worst I'm case. thinking more like 3 1. Okay. Right. That's what you I'm were thinking. You're in such trouble. That's what I'm thinking. You're in such trouble. So, Houston will still be a little better than the Lakers just because they, they showed me a lot last year. Yeah, they I know did. they lost to Reason in Bamute, but, but they'll, they're still going to be a force. Look like they're going to get Capella back. They're going to get him back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Oklahoma City will be a little better without Melo and adding back a Robertson, who obviously was hurt most of the year. But you're assuming that he's going to come back at full strength. Well, I don't know that, but I just think they're going to be a little okay. better, and I still like them a lot. Utah could be considerably better with a Donovan Mitchell, who will be a sophomore, not a freshman, as he was last year. He lifted them all the way up to a first-round upset of Oklahoma City in his rookie year. You better watch out for Utah, L.A. What Lakers. about sophomore slump? I don't think we're going to see that from okay. that kid. Okay. Oh, he, he was is. special. You, you he was special. special. I love his game. Woo! New Orleans is going to be a little better now that they added Julius Randle. You know, with Miritich, I, I just like the way they played at the end of the year. They're going to be a force and a factor. Which okay. brings me to my San Antonio Spurs, which you have completely written out of this equation. You have dismissed them as even being a factor to make the playoffs. Am I correct? With or without Kawhi? I, it, it's, it, it, we don't know yet. So you better put but that I, with a caveat. You said if they got Kawhi, they're a playoff contender. I, I got a new caveat for you. Okay. If you will allow me to. Okay. I'm read a quote from one Jordan Schultz who works for Yahoo. We see him as a mm -hmm. frequent contributor on First Things First, ahead of Undisputed here on FS1. Okay. And he is quoting, if we could see this, please, an, ex an NBA executive as saying he, and, and this is their, their rookie uh, player, now I can't even think of his name. Uh, Lonnie Walker. Lonnie, I can't even think of Lonnie Walker. Lonnie Walker, the fourth. Yeah, yeah the fourth. I, I was trying to think of the fourth. He's been the best player in Vegas. He can score. He's a great athlete. Plus, he's strong and he's aware. He knows what's going on out there. I think he's going to be a star. Has R.C. Buford done it again? Beat the system? He was the 18th overall pick. We're going Lonnie to give Walker, the fourth. Well, since y'all got a star, go on and trade us that superstar in Kawhi. 
Do you realize how much firepower is still left in San Antonio, even without Kawhi? Okay, we're well, good. You go realize on. how good they were last year without? They're still LaMarcus. They signed Rudy Gay back. They got Bellinelli back. And I don't know what's coming down the pike. We're going to talk about it in our next topic. But I don't know. Are they going to get DeMar DeRozan and Anunoby? I don't know what's going on. But you better not write off the Spurs well, if get as a factor and a force to threaten that that eight, seven, six seed that you're going to be vying for before this is all over. First of all, I'm under the impression, now, if you give up Kawhi and you get all those pieces back, yep. clearly, with Coach Popovich coaching, you're a playoff team. Hmm. But I'm assuming mm -hmm. that Kawhi goes to L.A., that is going to add another five mm -hmm. uh, games to our win total. Okay. So that's going to be somewhere like 57, 58. It's hard pressed mm. for me to believe that so some 58, 50, 58 wins will be seven. So Portland that we just write off and dismiss won 49 games last year. Yeah. 49 games. That was third best in the Western Conference. Are they going to be a what? little worse? Hold on. Little you mean worse? to tell me the mm. third best team only won 49 games? Mm. What? Hard. It's hard. What? Yeah, you're making my case for me. Thank you. That's how hard it is to win 50-plus games in the Western Conference. It is when you don't have LeBron. By LeBron's. the way, we're going to talk about this a little later, but Denver did ask, add Isaiah Thomas as their sixth man. They're pretty good, and they finished one game out of the eighth seed last year. You don't think they could be just a little better, just maybe a little better? And then the Timberwolves that you love, I, I just went like nine deep, ten deep. And? And you got problems. No, we got no problem. You, you got 54 wins. Any, pro any problem that I got, yep. I just put 23 Lakers jersey on and sobbed. Yep. There's not a problem that he can't fix. Mm. Okay. Now. Now, when I get them 54 wins, I don't want to hear no caveat with this guy rested, oh, this. I don't want to hear nothing. All I want to hear is you sitting do up on his desk. Clank, mm -hmm. clank. That's what I want to hear. Hmm. Well, I'll take my 11 cases and, well, I'll just add what you clank down. I'll just no, add no, no. to my <laughs> pile. Skip, by the time, up into the ceiling. By the time basketball season roll around, mm -hmm. I've really got so many cases to do from you and the Cowboys. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I've really got so many to do. That thing will be down to like two cases. Mm -hmm. 54 wins with a brand new team. And I, my final caveat to this discussion is mm -hmm. I remind you, Mr. Sharp, LaShannon Sharp, what? just how difficult it is to play with LeBron the first time around. What do you always tell me? It's hard. It is. What did all of them say last year? We had no idea how bright that spotlight was in the playoffs. It's hard, man. Yeah. So all these guys are in for a brand new experience, and you won't even get it in the 82 games the way you'll get it when it's time. Right? Well, they're going to grow up. It's time to grow up. Okay. Ingram is your third year. Kuzma, mm -hmm. your second year. Alonzo, right. your dad been hyping. Your Skip Bayless believe mm -hmm. you transcended. It's time mm -hmm. to grow up. Okay. We're taking the training wheels off. Mm. Nobody's holding you. Yeah, just you, get on the bike and go. You just picked a team with the bust, Lonzo Ball, to win 54 games. I did, oh, interesting. Why do you keep saying that? Well, that's what you keep implying, no, I did, no, insinuating. I, no, I did not insinuate that. No, no, you did. I insinuated that I don't see transcendent. Mm, okay. That's all I, ins I insinuated. I didn't insinuate. I well, said it. Well, LeBron better transcend all this. Oh, he has he not? Yeah. When they say who's the greatest number one overall draft pick in the NBA history, what do they say, Skip? Who's the best one? I don't know. You know! Magic? See, what? you know what? I can't even I talk to you anymore. Here y'all go. Here y'all go. All right, we're going to move on just a little bit now. Kawhi Leonard, is he headed up to O Canada? Well, we'll discuss it next wow. on Undisputed. Oh, no. <laughs> no mercy. A new team has emerged as the favorite to land Kawhi Leonard. Odd Shark released their numbers yesterday, and they say Kawhi is most likely to start the season as a Toronto Raptor. DeMar DeRozan is believed to be the centerpiece of a trade for Kawhi, and DeRozan added fuel to the fire by erasing all of his IG account. Shannon Sharp, are you surprised mm. that Toronto is now the favorite to land Kawhi? I am shocked um, because this would make no sense to me, Skip. With no assurances that Kawhi Leonard would resign and you give up the centerpiece, which, which would be DeMar DeRozan, and maybe a Nunaby, and maybe a, a, a yeah, Pirtle, Pirtle. A, a Pirtle. Mm -hmm. Skip, this makes no sense. You better have, and that's, th I believe, Skip, at the end of the day, this is why Philly and, and, and Boston and all these other teams, other than the Lakers, mm -hmm. I believe this is why they're hesitant. Yeah. Because he's not giving them reassurances that he would resign. And to give up all these young pieces. Now, the Celtics have made it abundantly clear from what we're hearing is that their Jalen Brown and Tatum and Kawhi and Gordon and Al Horford are untouchable. They want to tie it around smart 
or Morris or Rozier in those young draft picks. The Spurs say, well, that's unacceptable. So they're willing to do that, but they're not willing to break up their team, Skip, with no assurances that Kawhi would sign back on. And if you give up DeRozan, this is going to weaken you for a while, Skip, because Toronto can't attract free agents. A LeBron James or Kevin Durant, one of these big-time superstars, Skip, the likelihood of them signing with Toronto is not very good. So they had to draft. They drafted Rosen. If I'm not mistaken, they, they tra- I think they might have traded for Lowry, though, or they got him. They did. Oh, they did. So, but the likelihood of you getting a superstar mm-hmm. is not very good via free agency. It, this, this makes no sense to me, mm. Skip. This makes no sense to me. I like the pieces because, you know, Pop says, hey, get DeRozan, maybe a draft pick, a Nunaby, long, athletic, can defend, can put the ball in the basket a little bit, a uh, Pirtle, okay, but with no assurances that he's going to be there after this year, Skip, mm-hmm. there's no way I touch this deal. Mm. So, as a longtime Spurs fan, I am also – I'm shocked by this, <laughs> but, but I am pleasantly shocked. Hmm. If this is really on the table, I'm good with it. Yeah. This, this would be real good yeah. for the San Antonio Spurs. Not so much for the Toronto Raptors. Right. I can't even begin to explain – All your guys on the contract long term. <laughs> well, you'd have DeRozan for t- this year and next year. Yeah which is worth doing because, look, I'm not the biggest DeMar DeRozan fan, especially when it comes to LeBron James because he just shrinks and cowers and genuflex yeah, he and, didn't, and disappears. He didn't play well these he four games. Play. But he is a four-time All-Star, mm-hmm. and he's a credible NBA player. Right. He's, he's not a superstar, but you'd have to give him star. Right. You, you'd have to say he's a career 24-point-a-game scorer. Right. And he's had a career high of 27 again. That you can't, that doesn't grow on trees. No, you know? no, 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 and, no. He's a legit he seems player. Like, he seems like a good guy. He seems like a coachable guy. Yeah. He seems like a hard worker to me. And man, I think Pop, he, he liked yes. that. Yes. And Anunaby really impressed me. I know LeBron just took them all apart, but. But he is, you're right, he's 6'8 mm-hmm. out of Indiana. I just liked his body language. Right. I, I liked the way he moved. I liked the way he played, and he was just a rookie. He would get better and better. So that'd be a nice piece to have. Another long, athletic and, guy. And you don't think Jakob Pertl at 7 feet, 250 pounds, he's made for the San Antonio Spurs. Yes. He was the ninth overall pick in 2016. He was pretty. He, he played 19 minutes a game last yeah. year and averaged seven and five and, and 1.2 blocks. That's a nice backup center. Right. I like those three pieces. Right. You could take those three. These are win now pieces. Right. As opposed to let's just do the hypothetical. I know this has been kicked around, but the Lakers, you know, if they give Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzma, and Josh Hart, and I'm falling in love with Josh Hart in the summer league because right. he is a man among kids at the in Las Vegas right. I now. think two of the three, and yeah. I think they would prefer. If Ingram and Hart. But what I'm saying, if you you gave me all three of those. Oh, yeah, you take that over, DeMar. But but that's not as much of a win now as this group is because you'd have an established star, just a star in DeMar DeRozan. Right. And all of a sudden, San Antonio's at least back in business this year. They they would have a viable, credible, contending team. Not a Golden State, but somebody who could make some waves in the West. DeMar DeRozan, Skip, has been in Toronto for almost a decade. Let's just say for the sake of argument, you trade him away and you bring Kawhi in, and Kawhi leaves at the end of the year. Well, how would you convince him to stay in Toronto? I, 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 I love don't, Toronto. I've, I've been to I, Toronto. I like it, it a lot. It, I like it, too. But obviously, it gets cold, and obviously, it's in Canada. And I just know if Kawhi Leonard from Riverside, California, mm-hmm. with Compton connections. I just don't know if he would love Toronto. Yeah, he don't strike me as a cold weather type of guy, Skip. I don't, think so. I, I don't know. I, I could be wrong, but he just yeah. doesn't strike me. Yep. And from all indication, he still wants to come to L.A. Mm-hmm. And... I just this makes this this makes no unless you're going to do a sign and trade skip. Yeah. You're going to give him the max contract mm-hmm. and then you ship him so that way you're assured mm-hmm. he's going to be in Toronto. Okay. But to make this trade with no assurances that Kawhi is going to be there and I think there's probably a 99% chance that he's going to dip after the season because mm-hmm. it is Toronto, not that there's anything wrong with Toronto, but that's not where he wants to be because if that was the case he'd have mentioned that in the beginning, right mm-hmm. skip? Hey Trade me to Toronto. So if you gave Drake 82 games to talk him into staying, do you think Drake could talk him into it? Maybe. Kawhi don't even listen to music. Mm-hmm. He ain't even got no radio. He ain't got, he ain't got no walk. He ain't got no iPod. 
He ain't got no streaming service. He ain't got nothing. Kawhi. I'm a Spurs fan. Yeah. yeah. Skill. Just, you, you know Kawhi. I don't know anything about him. No. I, I've watched him all these years. I don't know a thing about him. I've never I, – I might I count on my right hand the times I've seen him interviewed, and I can't remember a single thing he's no. ever said because he says nothing. He doesn't want to talk. All he wants to do is go hoop yeah. and, and, and go home. Mm -hmm. That seems to be what he does. Now, he could have a life. He might be playing Fortnite. He might be all over the town of San Antonio. But it just appears to me mm -hmm. that it's basketball, and that's all he wants to do right there. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to talk. He doesn't want to be friendly. He didn't want all that conversing. I, I just saw a picture yesterday of him and Jonathan Simmons, his ex-Spurs teammate yeah. in Las Vegas. I, I don't know if they're there for the summer league or what, but I was shocked at that. Really? He goes out? Wait, oh. wait, wait, we've seen him at a, what, was it a, a Dodger game? Remember he was at the Dodgers game. Mm -hmm. Go, Pop, do wow. right. Pop, you said it's you want to do right. exactly Avra and Beverly Hills. No. You, you no. want to do right by him. Do no. right by him, Pop. Go ahead and trade him to the Lakers. Hmm. I don't think they want to do right. They're in business to win <laughs> yeah, basketball I games. And they're not going to do right by anybody, especially a Western even, Conference even, rival. Even, do, even doing business, Skip, they still want to. All things being equal, mm -hmm. they would prefer to have him out of the Western Conference. Mm-hmm. So it seems like the prospects of Kawhi, the Laker, are dimming. That's what I think. I don't, mm -hmm. Are you giving up on Magic? You're going to bet against Vegas? The odds are it's Toronto. Yeah, I'm betting against Vegas. Because mm -hmm. I wonder what the odds were when Magic Johnson made his diagnosis in 1991. What was his odds? I don't know. Exactly. Well, he you here? tell me they keep building casinos because people keep betting against the Well, I'm building, my casino, I'm building my yeah. casino on Magic Johnson's mm -hmm. back. Because I know he, he here. Mm -hmm. And he going to make it happen. He mm -hmm. told LeBron himself, I got something up my sleeve. He did not tell him that. <laughs> something like that. He did not. <laughs> he did. LeBron said, I got something up my sleeve. I got Hollywood. No. <laughs> I got five movies. Magic Johnson sleeve. told us, I'm going to get two big time free agents. Mm -hmm. Either I'm getting them one in 28, both in 2018, mm -hmm. or I'm getting one in one. Mm -hmm. Now, he told you that's what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. I take Magic Johnson at his word. Mm -hmm. He's, you should too. He's going to sign Pacino and DiCaprio as, as like front, you got row, Joe. front row fans. No, right? they already the be there. Jacks. No, they already, they already, Leo, we see Leo there sometimes. There sometimes. Pacino. I mean, he's not, you know, they're not the iconic like Jack. Mm. Jack and Spike Lee, they're on a whole different, of course, side fans, they're on a whole different level by themselves. Mm -hmm. But Magic Johnson's going to pull something out of his hat. Get, how do you think he got the name Magic? His name is Irving. How do you get Magic and Irving? Mm. Unless you could do something that nobody else slide a hand mm. on the court, yeah, on the court. So now he in the boy room mm. gonna pull this trick off. Wow. Right. Well, he's pulled off a lot of off court things, but I don't know about this one. Got LeBron James. Yeah, I think LeBron wants to go forward solo star next year. No, mm. no pressure. Honeymoon year. We don't do it. one foot in basketball, one foot Skip, in. Skip that is LeBron James. Mm. There's always pressure. Mm. Can Denzel make a movie with no pressure? Oh, you know, Denzel, you just take, I mean, you got all these awards, you've done all these things, you go, okay, you can make this flop, you can make this, who cares, Denzel? No! Hmm? When he goes on, he's like, hey, I'm Denzel. Hmm. When LeBron steps on the court, he's LeBron. I see James on the back of the I expect greatness. There's not a lot of pressure on Equalizer 2. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, we already did, Equalizer 1 was... Right. Yeah, I remember Bob, I uh, think <laughs> it was Bob, I, I right. remember right. the TV I series. I watch it tonight. Yeah. yeah. Huh? I remember the TV series, Bob, I think it's Bob Woodard was his name. I don't even care. I just care about Denzel. I like Denzel. I, I love Denzel. It's strong. I yeah. can't wait Excellent. for two. Excellent. Yeah. All right, so Skip's already calling him Hollywood LeBron, mm. but is LeBron James more focused on movies than basketball? Mm. We'll discuss it next with Rob Parker on Undisputed. You mean hater Rob Parker. <laughs> <laughs> no mercy. LBJ's agent, Rich Paul, told NBA TV yesterday LeBron did not come to the Lakers to be a star in Hollywood. Paul said, quote, People say, well, it's about movies, it's about this. It's about LeBron James. He's already a global entity, so it wasn't necessarily about that. But last night, TMZ found out LeBron was having dinner with Al Pacino and Leo DiCaprio in Beverly Hills. And Variety reports that LeBron's company is producing a movie and the king is in negotiations to play a lead role in the film. Oh, all right now, that's a lot of facts. We're joined what? now by Rob Parker. So, Rob. Mm. How big of a factor do you think Hollywood was in LBJ's decision to come to the Lakers? You see this guy I see him over there trying to, I know. trying to tee you up. <laughs> Say focus. It played 100% Thank you. in LeBron James coming here. Thank you. LeBron James, Los Angeles, is out of the championship business. 
LeBron James came here for Hollywood. That, that's why he came here without a team being put together. He just blindly, he never met with anybody else. Mm -mm. I'll give Magic credit. He didn't mess it up. But no. you know what? When a guy doesn't meet with anybody else mm -hmm. face to face, not his people talking to Philadelphia, mm -hmm. tells you right there, mm -hmm. it didn't matter what team Magic had put together or what plan he had. Mm -hmm. He wants to be a movie star. That's what he wants to be. So deep down, as we go forward, L.A. fans will feel like they got duped Mm -hmm. in that they were getting this guy who was still chasing championships mm -hmm. and wanted to restore this Fable franchise back to uh, championship mm -hmm. level and the parade in Los Angeles yep. down Wilshire and all the other stuff. Mm -hmm. That's not why he's here. Why is he here? He wants to be a six foot eight Kevin Hart. Mm -hmm. That's why he's here. Already, the first thing out of his mouth is that he's got this deal to do a movie and he's negotiating to be the star of the movie. Mm. I don't want to hear he that if I'm that. a basketball fan. Well, just people let, let it mm. leak out or whatever. Okay. Mm. But I'm just saying, if I'm a basketball fan in Los Angeles, Laker fan, that's not what I want to hear about from LeBron. Not yet. With he's 33 years old, right? Okay. Yeah. Plenty of time to be an actor and do all that stuff. You got four years left to play basketball. That's what LeBron James should be focused in on. And I would have more respect if he did the Jim Brown route. Skip, he quit. He just quit at he 29. Quit. He just walked Football away. Football and said, I'm going to be an actor, a star in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And he quit. Well, he, he originally, he didn't want to quit. Art Modell yeah, put his foot to the fire. It, it was said, over he, a contract. <laughs> right. no, but, but he right. quit, but he though. walked away. Yeah. He walked away. He said, either you come back or you do acting. Now, and the next thing said, I know, he's the leading man with Rock Hill Well, well done. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, so all I'm saying is that. <laughs> <laughs> there were the Rams out in L.A. and, you know, maybe could have forced his way. But I'm just saying, he quit. I'm telling you, Shannon, right now, this will wind up being as bad as when Shelly Long left Cheers to go to Hollywood. This is going to blow <laughs> up in, in no. everybody's face. No. That's how, how bad, bad was no. that? I that was know. bad. No. She was on a hit TV show, no. and she wound up coming to Hollywood really? to make movies. Okay. LeBron is making a mistake. Focus on basketball and forget about the Hollywood. So thing. he can't do that, huh? No, he can't do both. No, he can't. Mm. Michael Jordan show film. You just know Michael Jordan did uh, Space Jams. Yeah, you know what? But Michael Jordan didn't lose six NBA Finals, and Michael Jordan didn't come to a franchise that hadn't been to the playoffs in five years. Mm. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. And, he's and, not and, in the least and, conference and, anymore. And he's the guy that can get it done. He can't. He's get it the done. handyman. You've seen him go in his toolbox. I heard you dancing around about 53 wins. You, really? Yeah, I want 54. Something 54. That? 54? Yeah. That ain't happening. <laughs> it's going to happen. 50 plus. But anyway, <laughs> when you go to it, look, the Lakers have a lot. They have history. Um, Magic Johnson is running. The tradition is unlike any other. Only the Boston mm -hmm. Celtics can rival it. But also, when you play for the Lakers, what comes along with it mm. is the locale, mm. the sun, the weather, the, the beaches. Hollywood. Mm. A lot of people, you know, if you go, if you live in the Bay Area, aren't you going to take advantage of, of Tech, Silicon Valley? Of course you are, Rob Parker. So I guess you come out here to L.A., so you don't like nothing about L.A., you just write. All you do is come on this show and just write. Huh? What? What, teaching? What? No, no, so that's all you do. I enjoy it. Exactly. So LeBron... Well, I'm not a star in some whoa, movie and, whoa, not, and not doing my job just, on Undisputed. Just, just because he owns a production <laughs> company. That does... I mean, he's... Okay, he might star in one. That doesn't mean he's trying to be Denzel. He might want to be behind the camera. Mm. Mm. Oh, has that ever... You know, maybe he wants to be Spielberg. Has that ever crossed nope. your mind? He's about to star. Spring Hill yes. announced. It, it got reported yesterday. He's going to produce and star He's in. He's negotiating a, to be the yeah. lead in the in, in, the in movie. a body yeah. swapping comedy. Yeah. Yeah. Shannon. But he also gonna be in the lead. He gonna body swap <laughs> the goat. Okay. Take over LeBron. Take no, over what you call him? Uh, mm -hmm. Michael Jordan. No, it's the wrong Jordan. Now he's chasing Michael B. Jordan. That's who he's chasing. You know it, and yeah, I know yeah. it. Your man has backed you into an indefensible corner. You know it, and so, I know so, it. Let me, so, so, oh, like you do me mm -hmm. right now. So, what is he going to average? Less than twenty points a game this year? No. Uh, Just not going to win. That, yeah. That's what it's about. He's it's about winning. It's about about 
points. So they're not going to win. Okay. He wants to be a solo basketball star on the Staples stage mm. with no real pressure to win championships anymore so that basketball can become his second job to his first love, which is pursuing Hollywood. He wants to be a movie star. And not only did the Spring Hill Entertainment, which is his production company, uh, try to sell this movie to Paramount, which is, is in the works, but... It was also reported yesterday that LeBron's production company is on the verge of remaking House Party. Will LeBron at least do a cameo in that? Will he play a lead in House Party? I don't know. He needs a high top yeah. fade, though, to and be then, in that show. I, well, that's what I'm saying, but I've seen him do the dance before, right? Right? You know, I, right? Yeah. Okay, and then it's on the front burner. Forbes.com reported the day after he signed with the Lakers that it is now imminent that he will star in Space Jam yeah. 2. So there it goes, and all of a sudden, do you think he's meeting with Pacino and DiCaprio just because they're wide-eyed LeBron lovers who want to rub elbows with him? No. no. They go to Avra and Beverly Hills to make deals over dinner, and Maverick Carter, LeBron's deal maker, a rising Hollywood star in and of himself as a deal maker, was at the table because they were talking projects. You sure they weren't talking about how to beat the Warriors? No. no? I don't okay, so. I don't, I don't think, think so. Well, I mean, if I'm going to a nice dinner, I'm going to invite my friend too. Okay. Yeah. Shannon, that's four things that are in the works because all of a sudden LeBron don't is mean launching happening. into his second career, which could become in the next year or two his first career. Skip, just because you got a lot of irons in the fire doesn't mean they're going to all catch fire. Mm. So you make it seem like all oh, these products, the, oh, these are go. The, the, the movie house, okay, we, they've signed off in these deals and in the next three to six months they're going to go to production. That's not how it is. That's not happening. But all if you're a Laker fan and, and this guy came, everybody was throwing confetti out the window. Nobody throw LeBron, confetti. Right? Right? They were all excited. They still and the are. first two things that, that LeBron has done, first two, is they stiffed the fans on the on <laughs> showing did. up for the pizza. No word and wrong. now here he is. Pizza. I got the pizza. And now here he like, is. A, a day later, he's having dinner <laughs> right. with, with two huge Hollywood stars. Was Magic at, at the Opera. table? Magic wasn't there. No, he wasn't. He wasn't table. interested in Magic now. He Magic, already got the 154. Magic, Magic got, got his own group of friends. Magic knows uh, uh, DiCaprio. Magic knows Pacino. Magic knows probably more stars than uh, than uh, LeBron, considering he's been here for 40 years. Skip Bayless. So y'all, you know what? You and Rob, I can tell y'all been around each other so long because you start to think alike. Y'all, oh, you make it about the pizza. He's the, the people got their pizza. By the way, you just insulted me. Yeah, 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 y'all, 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 y'all. We've been... worked together since 2006. That's mm. not that long. Ain't that long. You, you've been knowing each other since 66. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, Skip Bayless, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to pay the... Yes, you are. LeBron's doing it to you. No, he's not. Yes, he is. LeBron James is focused on basketball. Do, do you know how much focus and energy and, and attention it requires to make movies? It's hard, man. Yeah. It's a Michael lot did of Space effort. Jam. Yeah. He did. And then did he become a big movie star after that? No. Did he... That's not his personality. Uh, you think Michael Jordan could have become a movie uh, star? Nope, I don't. Okay. I don't think he ever had any design. Exactly. He did, he did that one and he you was good. You think LeBron James can become a big movie star? I do. If that's what I he do. wants to do, nothing yeah. surprised me about LeBron. Yeah. One foot in basketball, one foot in Hollywood. No, no, no two no. feet in no, Hollywood no, 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 no. and none in basketball. No, no you got two feet right. in Brentwood. Of, he's out of the championship business. And by the way, Rob, feet, yes, I'm what you telling feet. you. Rob, I'm, allow me to ask you the same question he could not answer to open this show. What? Why hasn't LeBron James had a big welcome to L.A. press conference with the Lakers, either at their facility in El Segundo or maybe even at Staples? What have Why I, don't you do a big bombshell press conference? Because, it's all over everywhere. What have we always talked about? Mm -hmm. I think LeBron doesn't fully respect the fans. That's what the fans... Yes, he want. does. No, he yeah. does not. I mean, Rob? No, he doesn't. Because why hasn't he done it? And, and it's, it's Because become, that's what you want? No, that's because what anybody who makes a big splash in a new town... Just do it. It's, do it because LeBron. that's what the fans want. And it's want. good for the team. It's you don't good think for it's, business. It's not good for business. The, the fans, fans are not going to be able to come to a press no, conference? No, but they want to watch it and revel in it. Yes. They come on. Unless you do the one that you did at American Airlines two days after the decision was televised when they the, in 2010. Yeah. Let me and you got Dwayne and Chris Bosh on the stage you. dancing not five, and, not six, and the fireworks. Not seven. And what about when he went back to Cleveland? What was the big press run? press conference when he went back to Cleveland. No, but he doesn't do that because, you know... Okay, I, then, he no, doesn't do that. He, but, but I'm saying that in this situation here... What's the difference? He should... Why? Because, because he's coming to Los Angeles. There's so many people who are so excited. This Who doesn't know about LeBron? That, they know about him, 
but he should do it for the franchise and the fans. The he franchise. should do it for his own PR sake. The, the, yes. fr the, fr the franchise is good. So, the franchise that had Kobe, Shaq, Magic, oh, they good. They real good. They don't, real, they don't need LeBron to do a press conference. So no press mm. conference and no pizza party. That's what we've gotten no, no. so far. So did they, not, did they not get the pizza? No, the, he didn't come to the pizza okay. party. Okay, okay. Did you eat? Shannon, you know why he doesn't want to do a press conference? Because he doesn't want the media to hold his feet to the fire this early about how many championships are you going to win for the Lakers. Exactly. All he needs he is didn't one. He did come here to win championships. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. What do you mean all he needs is all one? All he needs is one. Why is that? All he needs is one. Because you said he's not going to win at all. He's not going to win. Because it's nothing. Just you doing this right here, swallowing those words. There's nothing like fear. <laughs> Yeah, there ain't nothing like that. See, that, that look on Rob face, Skip, you, you've had it a lot of times because he keeps betting against your Patriots. And that look on his face when you come here on that Monday no, and they I, don't want? I, no, I, that Monday, the last Monday we came in here about the uh -huh. Patriots, oh, no. I was a Cheshire cat that day. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. But I, I, don't, I don't get what you and Skip says. The man, all of a sudden, the man says he's in championship mode. Now, all of a sudden, he signs with the Lakers. He don't care about championships anymore. He don't care about basketball. All he wants to do, he wants to be Kevin Hart. He wants to be Denzel, Samuel L. Jackson. He wants to be anything other than what he already is. But you is. know what? I, 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 I miscalculated on LeBron. I didn't think he would come to the West for the competition, but I get it now. He's here because he doesn't want to hang another L on his uh, championship mm -hmm. yeah. uh, record. So he figures, if I come out West... Either I have to be in the finals because we've beaten them and I got a chance to win. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'm oh, not no. in. So that's why he's here, and that's why basketball is on the back burner because if he doesn't win, hey, the Warriors got a dynasty going. If he goes to Philly, yes, goes three and seven, three and, and eight. eight, three and nine, what he didn't want to be so there. So what happens? What happens when he goes four and six, five and six? That ain't happening. See, uh, see, see, I love how you like yours is more probable to happen. Oh, that ain't happening. But mine's gonna happen. You already mm -hmm. know that he gave up year one. Did he not give up year I one? He gave up no year one. Yes, he did. He he has four years left. Under Everybody thinks he's gonna be great. The last two. I'm telling you, the wheels will fall off the last two years. He has two years to win. You're under, you're he's going to remake Trainwreck. Exactly. Days, right? you're, under the yeah. impression, you're under the impression that Magic is not going to get anybody else to come. I heard what you said, Skip, but you try to be slick. <laughs> Both of y'all try to be slick. Y'all think y'all think y'all slick over so there. much fun. It's not this fun. Is, yeah. It's because better than I ever thought. Y'all try me. Rich, Richie Paul said there's yeah. been a lot of speculation. You heard it last night. I heard, yeah. He said there's been yeah. speculation on why he came. Yep. Yeah. We came for basketball, basketball reasons. Reason? Basketball. Rob, let me ask you this before we get out of this. Okay, so you said earlier, Shannon Sharp said, can he do both? You said no. I got to push back on that. Why is it that people are getting all deep into their feelings that this is a man with vast talent, I would say talent we've never seen, on the basketball court, and maybe, other than Michael Jordan, and maybe he's got that kind of talent when it comes to movies, production-wise, acting-wise, and the like. Why are they mutually exclusive? Why is there a presumption I, already, Rob, by you and so many others, that one will be at the expense of the other? I just think, at this stage of his career, with four years to go, I would like to see a guy who's more focused on just trying to win again. <sighs> he has plenty of time to make movies. He's not 80 years old, right. and time is running out. He's 33. You're telling me in four years he doesn't? He can't go to Hollywood and have the same meetings and and are you and, and strike are you same telling deals me in, four Are you years telling me in four years after he's won two championships in LA? Are you telling me in four years his basketball career will be over? He'll only be yes, 37. No, he'll be done. He'll be 37. In basketball years he'll be 67. But you're making him choose his interest over your timeline. I right? want him. Yeah. No, no, you focus on basketball. You. I said right. that. Yeah. Right. I want him. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. We'll leave it there for now. Rob, thank you. <laughs> Rob Parker, thanks for joining us. No mercy. Thanks for listening to the Undisputed Podcast. I'm Joy Taylor. We're back again tomorrow morning at 9.30 Eastern. We'll see you then. Fox Sports. One of one.